Hi, welcome to this video where I'll show you how to search BadgerLink for articles in Consumer Reports magazine. BadgerLink is Wisconsin's online library and provides Wisconsin residents with licensed content not available through regular search engines. BadgerLink is a service provided by the Department of Public Instruction and our resources are paid for with state and federal funding. First, go to the BadgerLink website at badgerlink.dpi.wi.gov. You can find Consumer Reports in several places. First, under All Resources, or under Format, Magazines, or under Subject, Business and Consumer. I'll click on Business and Consumer. This lists all the resources that have business and consumer content. So I'll scroll down to Consumer Reports Magazine and select it. This takes you to the Consumer Reports publication page and gives you information on what's available. Here we have Consumer Reports full text from 1991 to now. I'm looking for an article from Consumer Reports Magazine about washing machines. So I'll click on search within this publication. This populates a search for JN Consumer Reports. And this means we're searching within the journal name Consumer Reports. Add and, and then what we're looking for. Here are my search results, but you can see this error message that says my initial query did not yield any results. And that's because I did not include and. I'll add and, and then try my search again. And here are my search results. These articles look relevant, but are from a few years ago. I want to make sure that the article I have is the most recent, so I'm going to change the way the results are sorted. Click on Date Newest, and we see the most recent article is from August 2017. I would like to look at this first article, so I'll click on the PDF full text. This shows the article as it was published in the magazine, complete with full color images and charts. If you want to go to the detailed record to get more information about the article, click on Detailed Record. On the detailed record, you get more information about the article, as well as the article in HTML full text. On the right-hand side of the screen, you have several buttons. You can print or email the article, cite the article, or get a permalink. When you click on the permalink button, a long URL pops up. This is the link you will need to save if you want to get back to this article. There is a temptation to copy and paste the URL from the address bar at the top of the page, but if you use that URL, it probably won't work. Now, let's get back to the Consumer Reports publication page. You can get there by clicking on the link under Source. On the right-hand side of the screen, you see a bunch of dates listed. When you click on a date, it expands, and you can see all the issues for that date. If you want to browse a particular issue, click on it. Now you can see all the various articles from that issue. We hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, contact us. Thanks for watching.